Hey Cook Rangers, welcome back to our science lesson for this week. We've been studying natural disasters and we're going to keep doing uh, this, another lesson like that. We're going to be doing wildfires this week. We've already done floods and hurricanes and now we're doing wildfires. So we're going to read a little story about wildfires. It'll be a poem and then some facts about wildfires, just kind of like we've been doing. And uh, then we'll have some questions at the end. So you'll find this printed out in your packet. I'm gonna, you could just listen and, and uh, I'll read through it. And then you can take your time and go back and read the story on your own. Uh, but let's take a look first at some of the vocabulary that we might see in this chapter. So this will be printed out in your folder. It's our core vocabulary board. And we're gonna go through words that we're gonna see in the story today. All right, start, blow, come, put out, bite, wonder, blame, burn, look, dump, begin, die, spread, move, Dry, safe, high, fast, fire, land, wind, firefighter, family, tree, animal, helicopter, water, rain, wildfire, plant, home, place, lightning. All right, now that we've gone over our vocabulary, uh, listen and I'll read the story to you in the next part. Okay, I have the story here. It says chapter five wildfires. You'll find this in your packet. Just listen and I'll read the story to you first and then you can take your time and go back and read it yourself. Chapter five wildfires. The fire got started because of the dry land. The wind started blowing. Now the fire is out of hand. The firefighters come to put out the blaze. It is, too, it is much too wild, but everyone stays. They fight and they fight to put out the flame. The families stand round, wondering who's to blame. The fire burns on, taking lots of trees. The animals run out, looking for safety. The helicopters come and drop water from up high. Finally, it starts to rain as the fire begins to die. And that was a poem by Sarah Moore about wildfires. So let's learn some facts about wildfires now. A wildfire is a fire in nature that is out of control. The fire spreads because the land is dry and the winds are blowing. Wildfires burn large areas. They burn trees, plants, grasses, and homes. During a wildfire, people who live nearby need to leave and go to a safe place. A wildfire can move fast and can jump over roads and rivers. To stop a fire, helicopters fly over and drop large amounts of water on the fire. But firefighters cannot stop large wildfires on their own. The only thing that can stop these fires is rain and calm winds. The wildfires can be started by heat from the sun or lightning from a storm. They can also be started by people who do not put away their campfires, who put out their campfires. Always put out your campfire.
Wildfires can happen anywhere, but they often happen in forested areas that experience dry, hot weather conditions. Wildfires can happen anytime, but they usually happen in summer or fall. Southern California has many wildfires because of the Santa Ana winds. These hot, dry winds make fire a danger to the forests and brushlands. In 2003, the Santa Ana winds fueled the largest fire California has ever seen. This fire was called the Cedar Fire. There's a question here at the bottom. Do you live in an area that could be destroyed by wildfire? So think about that. Do we have lots of forests around Houston? Do we have lots of brush? Is it dry here? Do we have a lot of wind here? Those are all things that could uh, cause wildfires. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. Take your time, read through the story on your own, and then we'll have a few questions to answer. All right, now that you've had a chance to read the story, uh, chapter five was wildfires. We're gonna go back now and we're gonna answer some questions about the story. I'm gonna go ahead and read through all the questions and answer choices, and then find that page in your packet, and you take your time, go back to the facts about wildfires, and uh, find your answers, circle the best answer on your worksheet. All right, question number one. What was this chapter about? Tornadoes, wildfires, or floods? Question number two, who works to put out wildfires? Firefighters, teachers, or doctors? Question number three, what does a helicopter bring to a wildfire? Wind, food, or water? Question number four, what can help put out a wildfire? Lightning, rain, or stars? And question number five, what is important to know about this chapter? A wildfire can burn many trees and homes. Southern California is hot and dry. People like wildfires. Okay, question number six. Six through 10 can have more than one correct answer. So mark all the answers that are correct if there's more than one. Question number six says, where are the Santa Ana winds? Were those in New York, California, or Illinois? Question number seven. What do wildfires burn? Trees, plants, homes. Select all the correct answers. Number eight, what spreads a wildfire? Dry land, melting snow, blowing wind. Question number nine, how do wildfires start? Floods, lightning, campfires. And question number 10, how do helicopters help fight wildfires? They drop water from above. They spot animals in need of help. They make the wind stop blowing. All right, take your time, go back through your story, through the reading and uh, look for clues. If you have any questions about these, circle the correct answer and I hope you enjoyed our science lesson today about wildfires.